Hey guys, uh, current energy check-ins for the weekend. I'm very hot. <laughs> I know, but not like that. Um, I just woke up from a nap. I uh, didn't do the video on an empty stomach or an empty, non sleepy stomach uh, like I did in the past. So now I'm a little happier, but whenever I sleep, I burn up like a, like an oven, I would say. And uh, I still feel the, um, and I had some pretty intense dreams, not the hot kind, stop it, just uh, dreams of, you know, all sorts of things. Um, Juno's in the background, so if you hear anything banging, falling, scratching, meowing, all of the possibilities of what a kitten can do, that's her. Oscar's here. Uh, since I moved the setting a little bit, <laughs> see, he's not. Uh, people can't see him much. And lately, even with the old setting, he was um, sitting a lot down there under the table because um, I had to put a rug for him so that it's easier for him to jump on these benches. And uh, it was so easy for him that he chose to sl sleep there um for the most part so he didn't even bother jumping anymore it's like oh this is cozy i'll just sit here you know because people asked where's oscar he's here he's here my baby boy's here and i'm not letting him sleep yeah but touching his little belly and his little nose and juno is in crazy mode apparently um <clears throat> yeah I thought we were already in Mercury retrograde, but we're not, given that yesterday four of my devices started to go nuts. There's one right now. Okay. Uh, a TV open just, you know, on its own. Nobody minded the TV. Nobody was near it. Well, I was. It's right in that room behind me, but uh, I was doing readings. And um, what else? I pressed a remote by mistake of another TV and a fireplace turned on. Um, iPad just started going nuts. Just, you know, nobody minded the friggin' iPad and it started. Okay, that was Juno. Uh, one more. Oh, my laptop just turned on just cause. So I, I, I have no idea what happened yesterday. Uh, May is turning out to be a pretty crazy, interesting month um, that I can't wait for it to just turn into June. Uh, but anyways, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I'm not even going to bother. Um, change the setting a little bit. Kind of miss the uh, old back in the day in the previous house the setting of that and i'm like you know what i, I just need a and ever since i changed it i don't know i i saw some people noticed through the change uh you can see a lot of activity um around me in terms of orbs like if you look at last week's videos as pretty much when i start videos if you look especially over in this side you can see a lot of stuff happening um but if you pay attention Pretty much anywhere around me. Do you know, um, walls, ceilings, little edgy thing there that, you know, holds nothing but sometimes a cat. Off limits. Yeah, thank you for listening and not paying attention to me. Um, so yeah, pay close attention, especially when it's darker out. They come out like crazy. Some, some are dust, dust particles, so, you know. It's not all orbs, but you can see the orbs, definitely. Um, we're going nuts. So it's a, it's a, it's an interesting time. Um, that's about it, I think. Are we settling down anytime soon or maybe? Yes, no. Doesn't look like it. Anyways, um, let's get back to our stuff. Current energies check-ins for the weekend. Um, I'll be going through each sign individually by elements, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. We'll be 
quick, to the point, no clarification, whatever comes out, comes out, no extended video for the Friday videos. Um, boom, 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 boom. I forgot everything else, just like, you know, let's get going. No, um, I'll be looking into where you're at energetically in regards to another energy, which I know I say this every time, but people still get stuck in that. Oh, I don't have somebody, um, which could be that of a person or another situation you're dealing with. You could be dealing with looking for a new job. You could be dealing with applying for school, for or even starting starting to study something new or uh, you could even be getting a new pet I don't know just any kind of situation anything um, so it doesn't have to be let's get unstuck people let's get unstuck from that whole sense of it's a person it's not and again the way I look at things at least in my opinion there should be love in, in just about anything uh, surrounding you so that's why I call them love readings not because they're love readings um, <clears throat> and then I'll be looking into where the other energy is at in regards to you um, then I'll be looking at the connected energies and then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe for each of you uh, roles can be reversed timestamps will be below in the description box in the comment section and on the play bar um open for whoever feels guided to listen to whichever placement you may want to listen uh in your chart we all have them pretty much you know all signs i'm lacking aquarius uh in my chart but it's okay it's my mirror sign so i'm not really lacking it kind of ish half i don't know anyways um but we're all made out of all of them so um, oh, quick response to the few, very few, uh, that keep on pushing me to not show my animals on camera. Uh, no, I will not stop doing that. Uh, if they want to be here, they'll be here. They're part of me, part of my life, part of who I am, part of why I'm here. Um, so no, I will not, I will not force them to be on camera, but I'll not push them away if they want to be on camera. So... Uh, for those of you, you know, stop bothering putting the, those comments out there. Stop putting the animals. Uh, it's like asking me to stop putting myself in, and then why are you watching? You know. So, no. Um, which I don't even think they're watching the intros, but anyways, if they do, no. Um, that's it. We're good to go. Earth signs, Capricorn. Oh, she'll come over. She will come over when she's done banging around the cat tree and the toys and everything she bangs onto. She'll she'll jump in here. She'll make herself known. Let's see, Cappy. Alright, on your side, you get the Knight of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Man, you're very passionate about something here. Uh, I don't feel like it's specific to a particular energy. I feel like it's the way you look at life, the way you take on life these days. It's looking like it's very... It's coming from a very determined place, very curious place at the same time, very passionate. So it almost feels like, you know, you're going about your day-to-day -day life and then you see something catching your attention that feels good it's like oh i'm gonna go for this you know it feels like you're very open um it could be maybe tied up to one particular energy but i see this as an overall kind of energy on your side and you feel very good in your own skin by the looks of it you're like huh oh, i got it going on um it it does give that that confidence you carry and that sense of openness it it does bring this hmm. um mm -mm -mm. For the energy attached to you, the Seven of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Hangman. This is a stuck energy. It's looking like it's an energy that kind of wants to move on, kind of wants to uh, possibly detach from you. Uh, they seem to 
not have that much luck in that department. Um, in terms of, I don't know what they're doing, if they are trying to move on and find something, something or someone else, uh, they may, but energetically, they're still kind of stuck on you here by the looks of it. They feel very stagnant in their energy. For the connection, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. There is the option of love here. There is that availability. However, it's not happening by the looks of it. There's there's also a split. Even if this would be available, you know, this love here to be shared, uh, there seems to be a split in energy. So it's like, okay, well, I'm not thinking about that or I don't want that or maybe they're not or maybe the neither of you, you know. So it's not necessarily, even if it's here, it's not being used. Um, mm -mm -mm. Let's see what the universe has. The Ace of Wands, the Sun, the Nine of Swords. I hope you're not covering some sort of pain you're experiencing because I do see this energy right here of passionate, moving forward, looking for happiness all the time. But it's I feel like at times it may be through pain with the Nine of Swords being here. So I feel like there's an underlayer of pain there somewhere. Not that you're covering it up. I feel like you're aware of it. But it's like, are you trying not to deal with it? You know, that would be my question here. You know, trying to kind of distract yourself. Oh, I see something cool. Let me go do it. Fill my time up with that. And, you know, this right here, it's there. Yeah, it's kind of a pain, but um, I'm not going to deal with it necessarily. So I don't know. Almost feels like you're trying to cover it up. I don't, know. I don't know. Anyways, that's it. <clears throat> Moving on to Taurus. Okay, on your side, you get the Ace of Wands, the Empress, the Nine of Wands. You want to initiate something here. Uh, you, Your energy is going in the direction of someone quite special to you. There's definitely someone of importance here. And I feel like you want to either send them something or do... Your energy is going towards them. And I feel like you, you want to actually align with that energy and go for it. Uh, you're kind of blocking that. So that tells me that maybe you're not, even though you're desiring to do something about something, you may be not with the Nine of Wands there. So it's like wishing for something and then blocking yourself. Uh, the energy attached to you, the Five of Cups, the uh, uh, Page of Wands, the Eight of Cups. There's some sadness here that they were hanging on to, but I feel like they let that go. Um, they're in a phase of well, after they let stuff go, basically. But they're showing me, okay, I still had something, you know, that I was hanging on to, but not anymore. Uh, so they are in a phase of letting stuff go. For the connection, the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, the Six of Wands. Someone here has the tendency to not listen to how they truly feel, to their intuition guiding them certain places. And it kind of falls on you, given that you're showing me kind of the same thing here. But it could be them too. It could be the both of you. There's definitely the tendency to feel something and then to walk away from it. Um, to not go, even though what you feel is good, you know. So, let's see what the universe has.
Ace of Wands, Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Now, the good part about this is that even though someone wants to do th something, but they're not, they're taking this time in which they're not to take care of themselves. So it's not like, ooh, ooh I don't want to do that. And nothing, you know? At least what they're doing with this time of... Which is kind of ironic, because while they want to do something and they're not doing it, they're kind of rejecting aligning with how they feel and then they're like well let me take care of me but what is take taking care of yourself if not aligning with how you feel right so it's kind of contradicting here but it's not really because you know at some point through this you're probably going to realize how you're um kind of abandoning how you feel or yourself for how you feel uh I kind of get the sense that this applies to the both of you, even if it fell more on your side. I kind of feel like this is for the both of you more than just for you. So that's it. You're not seeing her. She's right here grooming. I told you she would appear, uh, but she's not in here, in here. She's roughly, roughly grooming. Okay, now she's going to bed. All right, moving on to Virgo. I, I looked at her growing up and she was growing up a whole lot and I'm like, man, she's growing up. And all of a sudden, I kind of get the feeling that she stopped. You know, she stayed the same. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. She does have bigger paws. That's for sure her paws exploded. But, like, I don't know. Maybe because I'm with her every day. Can't tell. Can't tell anymore. Um... I, sometimes I can tell for all of them, even with Felix, like about a few months ago, I even noticed Felix got bigger. You know, sometimes I don't, I, I feel like they're kind of the same, but anyways, Amanda, over to your sister, be, be careful, she's right there, she sees you, she's gonna jump, okay, uh, stop looking at my bow like that. Groom, groom, groom. Uh, on your side, the Knight of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Page of Cups. You want to go for something here. Do you? Or do you feel that there's another, another energy coming towards you? I kind of get the sense that you're waiting, actually, for this energy to come and approach you. You know, there's a passionate energy that you're looking at and you're like, hmm, when are you going to come over? Um, meanwhile, you're staying open for it. So it kind of feels like you're in the expectation of this or in the anticipation of this. I'm not sure, but it, it looks like you know it's going to come over. Huh. I don't know. It's good energies overall. It's just I hope you're not falling too much into the expectation of it. Hopefully you're in that knowing of it rather than it's got to come, it's got to come, it's got to come. You know? I don't know. The energy attached to you, the fool, the king of pentacles, the star. Ooh, they feel that way. They feel like they want to, you know, approach you. Definitely they have that energy of let's give it a go. Um, they seem, they seem impulsive. They seem like, you know, they would do it just like that, but then maybe pull away or something. There's definitely focus on the material for them. So they could be busy here. Um, these are good energies attached to you though. So it could be someone you're dealing with that is busy with their job, with their whatever, but then towards you, they have open and good energies. You know, I don't know how much time they're putting into those energies given that they're busy here. So I don't know. Uh, for the connection, the Knight of Swords, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, this does seem to be something stable, something, um, family oriented i don't know i don't know what it is but it feels like it's a stable connection here or it wants to be there's disappointment in the lack of uh participation in it 
So it could be that you're expecting more from this energy. Meanwhile, they want to give more, but they're busy someplace else. So what they're giving right now kind of feels good to them. But at the same time, I see them not really seeing that their energy is probably more shifted towards something else. So that's why there's this, hmm, I wish more could be done here. So now I understand better your energy of expecting for things to get done. Uh, let's see what the universe has. The Magician, the Tower, the Page of Swords. Yeah, I mean, if you get into that place of trying to control the situation and trying to uh, make it in such a way that they have to give more, almost forcing or not forcing, controlling, you know, like throwing all sorts of hints. Like, how about, you know, if you did this instead of that and, you know, wouldn't that be better? Um, it's kind of going to blow up in your face by the looks of it. It's the minute you try to control the situation instead of just allowing it and accepting it as it comes. The minute you are trying to create more of what is in terms of the action towards this connection, it's kind of going to blow up in your face by the looks of it. So try to look at it, accept it as it is, and accept that part too, where maybe their energy is focused in a place of growth and maybe they are doing it for this uh, situation you know for this dynamic between the two of you i don't know whatever it is it is what it is so moving on to fire signs aries The um, Molonior side, you get the Eight of Wands, the World card, the Knight of Wands. It seems you're upset here. It almost feels like there's been a fight or something and you're like, you know what? I'm not talking to you anymore. It kind of feels like that, uh, especially around talking. Like, no, I'm not going to. No, nope, make me talk. You know, um, you're taking your energy and you're like, I got mine and I'm going there, not here with you. Mm. I'm not talking to you. Kind of feels like that a little bit on your side. On their side, the uh, Page of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, they seem to be open. They seem to be like, well, you know, let's talk. Let's do something about this. You don't really care. You're like, no. Uh, for the connection, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Five of Wands. There's a Five of Wands here. There's been some sort of disagreement, some sort of not being on the same page. And because of that, you gathered up your little toys and you took them and you went away you know you're like i'm out but you're coming back it looks like there are steps being taken slowly but surely and energetically towards going in this conflict and kind of you know opening it up and kind of resolving it um, but it seems that it's going to take time so not right away for now you're upset you got your little toys you're like, no, I'm not talking to them. Let them make me. Mm -mm. Let's see what the universe has. The star, the tower, the three of cups. There is the desire to bring this back together in a healthy, beautiful, loving way. Uh, for some reason, this desire kind of is hitting a wall. I don't know what the hell is happening here because there's something in between the desire and the actual fact of this coming back together. Well, it could be that this is the five of wands. It could be that this is, you know, Aries with 
Aries is little toys and being like, nah, I'm not talking to them. Could be just about anything, this tower here. So there is an energy that's standing in the way of this coming together. But I kind of see it already in the reading. You know, it's just kind of spread out here in three cards rather than more. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit of an energy that's keeping this apart for now. Again, what I see in the connection is steps being taken slowly but surely, more slowly, uh, towards let's address this, you know? So it'll get there, but that's it. Moving on to Leo. On your side, you get the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Five of Swords. Leo, you know, there's some resistance here to you. Um, you kind of show up as having it all fine. You got it going on. Everything's fine. You know, you're presenting yourself as I'm good. I'm fine. I'm stepping in my power. I'm. I'm good where I'm at there's some resistance to you that makes this whole I'm good kind of a BS kind of an energy so kind of a lie a little bit of a lie but I don't feel like you're seeing it I feel like you recognize a little bit of it kind of you say you're good but you recognize that it's not really the case um, and your good means here I'm in control I have it going on you know I feel good where I'm at but I know you're you're recognizing that it's a little bit of a a lie, you know, because there's something you're resisting. You're hanging on to some resistance here, which I don't know what that is because I'm not clarifying. But there's definitely some deceptive energies at play here on your side. Um, the energy attached to you, the Wheel of Fortune, the Death card, the Three of Swords. What the hell is this? You got a changer of minder here, by the looks of it. They're coming in, they're going out, they're coming in, they're staying, they're going, they're like, it's done, it's not done, I'm hurting, I'm not hurting, I'm, you know, all sorts of energies, but changing energies. They're not a stable energy, like, even if they were in the, in this death energy, they can't sustain it, they're there for five minutes, you know, of, of it's done, it's done for five minutes, then, oh, but I'm hurting, but I'm hurting for five minutes, and then who knows what other energies, so they're coming in with a whole lot of changes in their energy. Um, for the connection, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Justice card, it's like you two can't get it balanced here. And I mean, with these changing energies right here, with the sense of rejection on your side, no freaking way in hell this is going to get balanced. First, you do need to align with yourself and be honest, especially about this rejection here. What is it about? What's it doing here? Because it's standing in the way of you actually being good. Uh, for them, they need to settle in one energy, whatever energy that is, that of loss, that of pain, that of whatever they want to feel, but feel it for more than five minutes. And then maybe there can be some sort of, okay, let's balance out this, these energies. Let's see where we're at. Even if they're nasty, they still kind of can fall into some sort of balance. Because this whole situation, you're not liking it, they're not liking it. Nobody likes it. You know? And it's really not balanced. So, I don't know what the hell is going on here. But let's see what the universe has. King of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Ace of Wands. Okay, so someone's trying here. There's definitely a sense of someone is trying. I kind of get the sense that it's them. Um, if these are the energies that are going on underneath, 
all of that, I'm getting this trying, maybe you perceiving this as they're not doing shit or whatever it is they're doing, it's good for nothing. And you would be correct if these energies are coming from five minutes, I'm hurt, other five minutes, I'm happy, then I'm, you know, there's no, so the energy coming out is going to seem like, what the hell is this? Um, of course, this could be you. I don't know. There's a sense of trying. There's a sense of at least they're trying. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is. This is a, I keep reading. That's what this is. But someone's trying. That's what's coming through here. But this trying, I don't see as, you know, I see as pretty much nothing. But anyways, that's it, Leo. Um... Moving on to Sagittarius. Okay, on your side, you get the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands. Um, there's a sense of wanting to do something, but not knowing what. It's like one of those things where you're feeling, man, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do... And this and that and whatever it is you got to do is like, but what? What, what? what am I looking for? Like, like feeling an urge to move in a direction, but not knowing where, how, why is it there? What, what is it supposed to be? You know, you're stuck in your head about something here. The one thing I know is that you want to do something, but you don't know what. And um, there's a little bit of rejection towards even the... Um, um you're definitely stuck in your head but you're looking at it as if no i'm not you know the whole assumption of the situation you're like no i'm very clear so i don't know what you're talking about i want to do something but i don't know what how is that being stuck in my head well you don't know what <laughs> you know because there's so many things going on in there that you can't see clear what you want to do about something and i can't tell you because i'm not going to clarify i don't know i just see the action and i'm like and then i see you not knowing what to do with it um so first acknowledge where you're at <clears throat> with this because i see you stuck in your head and recognize that if you are there it's okay you just need to hop on out of there you know you just need to get yourself out of that clutter and then you'll figure it out you know because this is an action of the soul not of the mind so from here you're not going to find what it is um <clears throat> the energy attached to you the sun the two of swords the ten of pentacles this is a a little bit of you know there's a little bit more clarity on this side in terms of what they want and i do see them wanting happiness they're clear about that they want stability um but they're confused too, you know, so there's not like you are because you're in the rejection mode of that confusion. They're not. They're kind of in the place of, OK, I don't know how to, to get the shit done. Um, so two energies that are very confused, interacting with one another, not necessarily the best kind of result. But for the connection, the four of cups, the queen of wands, the nine of cups. There's a little bit of disappointment tied up to you here. And I don't know on whose part, to be completely honest, I kind of get the sense that it belongs to you. Um, because even though you're kind of struggling here and you're kind of showing me, I'm not confused, I'm fine, I'm clear, leave me alone. I feel like at some point you're going to figure this one out and you're going to look back at this and you're going to be like, damn, 
how the hell did I not know this? How the hell did I not know that I was all over the place about this? And at that, t at that time, you're kind of showing me a sense of, oh, Saji, you did it again. You know, don't be upset with yourself. It's fine. It's okay. I kind of get the sense that it's, you're going to fall back into that emotional place, emotional balance place from which you can figure out what this Ace of Wands is. From here, you can't. And from denying that you're here, you really can't. So you're a little bit bummed out here because of you, basically. But you're getting back here to yourself. So don't, don't put yourself down, Saji. Let's see. <clears throat> what the universe has. The Chariot, the Two of Pentacles, the King of Cups. Yeah, fall a little more into your heart. I feel like you're trying to avoid that place, but you are unavoidably going there in that direction of opening up a little more here. Um, you're, it, it's like you're really going fast in that direction and then you stop along the way because you know where you're going, you know, into that heart of yours. And then you're like, whoop. Let's make it complicated. Let's see if we can complicate it. But then, no, the energy is too strong for you to even complicate it. But you do have that hesitation there. You do have that pause. Uh, so the minute you're there in that open heart space, it'll be easier for you to figure things out when it comes to this. So allow yourself to go there. And you'll be fine. You'll be fine, Sanji. All right, moving on to air signs, Libra. Juno's dreaming. She's moving her paws like. All right, on your side, you get the uh, Seven of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, the Magician. Right now, your focus is on yourself by the looks of it. You're looking at all sorts of ways in which to learn and to practice self-love, basically, by the looks of it. So your focus is you by the looks of it for now. For them, their focus is still you. <laughs> uh, the Empress, the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Swords, uh, they want to come forward, they want to give this energy towards you. You know, they have good energy that they want to share and they want to share it with you. However, I don't know if they are because there's also a sense of defeat here. There's also a fear of rejection, possibly. There's definitely something that's kind of disruptive to this energy. So I don't know if they're letting it out. Maybe they are, but if they do, it's coming in with fear. For the connection, the fool, the chariot, the king of wands, it feels good. Whatever you're receiving from them, and I feel like you are, even if not physically, energetically, for sure you are. And you're connected to yourself enough to feel it. And it's good energy that you're getting from them by the looks of it. And it's kind of coming in fast. And it, not fast, this feels like intense more than fast. It could feel fast because it's intense. I don't know, but it's good energy. So... Okay, let's see what the universe has. <clears throat> Three of Swords, Page of Wands, King of Wands. They're coming out of something. I feel like they've been heartbroken. They've been kind of in their own pain for probably quite a while and it took a lot out of them by the looks of it but they're coming out they're going from the page to the to the king here and i feel like you know that too so they've been in a place of pain for a very long time here but they grow out of it well with the energies that are that they are exchanging it's not surprising 
They're stepping into a more confident place. This could also apply to you. This could be you. It doesn't have to be them. I kind of see this as being them, though. So, But that's it. <laughs> Moving on to Aquarius. On your side, you get the Knight of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Cups. I feel like you released expectations here, big time. In the minute you release that, you released a big-ass burden. In the minute you release that big-ass burden, you started to feel a little more happy, a little more, oh, you know. Um, there's definitely here an expectation for them to move towards you, whoever they are. It's like expecting for this energy to approach you, for this energy to make a move to whatever, but it's like, yeah, forget about it. I'm not, that's it. And and again, the minute you did that, happiness shows up in terms of how you feel, like that sense of relief. Um, for the energy attached to you, you get the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Hermit. They do love you, that's for sure. Now, I'm not sure how much they're showing that. I'm not sure how much of that they're bringing forward. Uh, they are in healing mode, big as deep healing mode. Uh, usually when I see somebody going through this kind of healing, I don't see much coming to the surface at this time. You know, I don't see them. It's more of an inward kind of an experience. It's not like, hey, let's go out there and party with Aquarius. I, I don't see it like that. Um, people are more, you know, taking a break from a lot of other energies but they are bringing up a lot of love through this healing for the connection the five of wands the magician the king of wands someone is very passionate here someone is very fiery and uh to be quite honest i kind of see it on your side even though i have no reason to based on the cards on the table but i get it that way in the way that i feel like i've been pulled towards you when i when i said fiery and passionate it could create um, a little bit of disagreements, a little bit of, you know, not being on the same page, especially now. If someone's going through an inward kind of journey and you're like, well, you know, why aren't they paying me attention? Maybe because they got their own thing going on, you know, there with themselves. Can they? <laughs> you know, kind of a thing. I know this energy because, you know, we all go through it. We're, we're all like, well, you know, I can help them heal or I can. Yeah, OK. But sometimes people just need that time for themselves. And we're like, well, but you are falling into a more understanding place over that, over a more. Uh, well, OK, you know, let's give them that space. If they want that space, let's give it to them. Uh, however, someone still has that fiery. Ooh. And it could create, at times, conflict here. So just so you're aware of it. Maybe it's you, maybe it's them, maybe it's the both of you, which, you know, that would be a bigger conflict if it's the both of you. But um, let's see. Let's see what the universe has. The Fool, the Judgment card, the Two of Pentacles. Because you feel this, I feel like it's on both your sides. This Fool energy, I feel like it's the both of you experiencing this, this pull towards one another, this, oh yeah, I, let's go for it kind of a thing. But there is a pause. For some reason, the universe said, you know, took this block of pause and threw it on top of this and said, let's see how you deal with it. And, you know, overall you're dealing good with it. Other times it's like, ooh. What do I do? What do I do with this friggin' pause? Do I really need to, you know, agree with it? Kinda. You know, if you wanna allow for these energies to flow freely in the direction that they do wanna flow, and the direction feels good. The direction feels 
okay if you allow it. If you interfere with expectations and with passion and with, ah, see me, hear me now. Even though you gotta see you and hear you, see me first. I don't know. Anyways, that's it. Moving on to Gemini. Five of Wands seems to be the theme for today's reading for everybody here, which is not the greatest kind of five. Uh, five of Wands, you get, oh, on your side, you get the Five of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Devil. Yeah. Oh, man. The instigator part, um, the, the whole, hmm. I'm gonna tell them this. I can't. I can't help it. I'm just. I'm, I know I'm gonna create conflict. I'm not. I'm gonna make a mess out of it. I can't help it. I'm just gonna tell them this. So I don't know what the hell you're telling them here, but it seems like you're aware that it's gonna bring trouble, and you're still doing it. Um, it's one of those things that we all do, right? You know, I'm gonna tell them this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll show them, and then you go ahead and do it, and it's like, what the hell? You know, so it's you're you're kind of falling in one of those energies right here. So I don't know what 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 what, what the situation is here, but you definitely have a problem with it, and you're in that place of probably creating a bigger problem than what it is. Um, anyways, on their side, the Tower, the Three of Cups, the Eight of Wands. Well, they may have done something, said something here. Um, They're showing up in an energy of only when the shit hits the fan, they may want to approach you. They may want to, you know, when, when it's like if they're going through something quite, who knows how horrible. And that's when they're like, oh, Gemini, Gemini is good for this. You know, I'm going through shit. Well, let me go, you know, so, so it could be that that's why you kind of want to say something here or do something here. Kind of like, really? That's the only times that I'm good for it. I don't know. It kind of feels like that. Um, hmm. I don't know. I just see you wanting to give them peace of your mind here. And it's not the greatest kind of peace of your mind. But it does look like whenever... Like, they're opening up all of a the sudden. They're blooming like a flower all of a sudden, only when they're going through shit. Which is a kind of a suspicious kind of an energy here. So, I kind of get that it's it's bringing out this side of you here. For the connection, the Empress, the Death card, the Four of Swords. This situation is done and over with. And I feel like you're healing it, basically. Whatever these are, it's kind of like um, lingering energies things that are not quite done maybe you still have to be in contact or maybe i don't know um i don't know but the situation you're showing it to me as if it's done and i'm healing what the hell kind of readings are you giving to me today all of you <laughs> what, what's going on here not only you all of you that five of wands, that five of wands. You don't start a reading that way. The five of pentacles, the judgment card, the temperance card. Yeah, it's there. there's definitely a breakup, a separation, and there, there's something is done here. These are just kind of, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but it's very healing to you. So whatever it is you're going to experience through this loss, 
whatever is still going to come up, because things are still coming up for you, for your own healing for this, is going to be very transformative. So oh, at least something good. But that's it. Um, you're still going to go through the loss of this for quite some time. Anyways. All right, moving on to water signs, Pisces. Okay, on your side, you get the Page of Pentacles, the Sun, the Knight of Wands. I got overall for this reading, for the whole part, not only for your side, uh, there's a good, steady kind of a healing kind of energy that leads in a very good place. Especially on your side, you're showing me a whole lot of happiness. It feels like you're opening up to either learning something new or there's definitely a, a path that's very passionate very close to your heart kind of thing that you're approaching you're taking on and it feels like it leads toward ha towards happiness and i feel like you know that you know so i don't know what it is that you're doing here either you're starting to learn something new or the way you look at life in general could be new from a new perspective i'm not quite sure uh but it's a good energy you know in your uh, movement here for the energy attached to you the ace of wands the seven of wands the nine of pentacles they have a little resistance on their side whoever it is you're working with here um they seem to be stable they seem to be in a good place they're a little bit resistant to completely and fully open up to you in terms of if you are partnering up with someone they're okay they're doing their thing you're doing your thing everything's fine in the match there's a little bit of something within them that tells them nah don't do this you can do this on your own you've got it going on you're good uh, but that's something they would have to work with in regards to this situation here i feel like they're open they're a match in terms of how it all blends in together energetically between the two of you i see this more as a work situation rather than Love. It could be love, too. I don't know. Or it could be a friendship. Whatever it is, it's important because it leads you in a good place. Um, and there seems to be openness from both sides here. For the connection, the Queen of Pentacles, the Temperance card, the Three of Swords. Um, through this process, there's a whole lot of self-care and self-love involved. Um, there's a whole lot of pain being removed, you know, through this process of self-love so i don't know i have no idea what this is but it feels good finally a peaceful calm steady energy thank you let's see what the universe has page of pentacles ten of cups ace of pentacles yeah same thing that you're showing me on your side basically starting off this new path it, it feels like you're at the beginning of it. So I don't know, maybe you're restructuring something. Maybe you're starting something completely new. But it does lead to happiness in the way that it makes you feel. It looks like two times you're showing me in a very short reading that this leads to happiness. So that's it. Oopsie, oops. Oopsie, oopsie, oops. Oh, moving on to Scorpio. I said Scorpio, she puts her head up. She's like, me? Yeah, you. She went back to sleep, though.
Scorpio. How do you do this? On your side, you get the six. <laughs> I don't get it. The six of swords, the tower, the page of swords. It's like I'm moving on to calmer waters. I don't want to deal with that shit that I'm leaving behind. But where you're heading towards is another kind of shit, basically. It's like almost like creating something bigger so that it can distract you from what you want to leave. So it's not that you mean to, it's not that you want to, it's just showing up like, let me jump from shit to shit and see, you know, when I can get the hell out of Dodge, uh, out of this whole situation of whatever it is. I'm, I don't know, it, it feels like that. I'm, I'm not getting you as doing this on purpose, God forbid. It's not like, oh, you know, let me, let me look for something intriguing here and more, you know, the, to keep the adrenaline pumping. No, but it's like I'm getting rid of something and then I'm, the direction in which you're, you're, you're heading by getting rid of something kind of looks similar to what you're getting rid of. So that's why it's kind of ironic and a little funny to see from the outside. I know it's, it's got to be not funny to you. It's like, yeah, tell me about it. Um, but you're trying, you're trying to get yourself out of this energy. It feels like you entered some sort of a, a vicious cycle kind of a thing where it's like, yeah, I can't get rid of it. I don't know what the hell this is. I just want out. Um, so you're trying. For the energy attached to you, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, they want to keep things steady. They want to keep peace, balance, whatever it is. I don't know who this is to you. I don't see it necessarily as being who you're thinking of. It could be that it's a, maybe a friendship, maybe a family dynamic, someone close to you that they're like, well, you know, let's. Let's work with what Scorpio has given us, you know, whatever, kind of whatever it is. But they want to, they have the intention to keep this together. Um, they are kind of going past certain things that may have happened here between the two of you, or there's something tied up to this connection that they're still, it's kind of still there for them, but they're, it's not taking over as an energy. What's taken over is that sense of let's keep this together. Let's make this work. For the connection, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Yeah, someone is definitely determined to make this work. And I kind of get the sense that it's the both of you. For some reason, you're busy jumping from uh, rock to rock where all rocks look like they're sinking in this energy of what the hell is this? Um, but it's because you got stuck here in, a, in some sort of a... I don't know. I don't know. You know how sometimes you feel it? Well, I feel it in that way of a, a swirl of energy where it's like, man, I can't get myself out of this. And the minute I'm out and I look at it, I'm like, oh, shit, that was a tough one. You know, um, so I kind of see you in that place where you're not necessarily participating in this fully because you're busy jumping from your rock to your other rock, you know, but Again, there's determination here to keep this going, and I I feel it more from this side more than you, but I feel like you want to make this work too. And again, I kind of get the sense of someone close to you, but not necessarily who you're thinking of. You know, not that one. Uh, it could be even a friend. I get it more of a friend than anything. But let's see. Ten of Wands, Six of Swords, Ace of Wands. You're trying. You're definitely trying here. Definitely freaking trying because this swirl of whatever it is you got caught up in, it's, it's kind of tough. It's kind of heavy. It's kind of like, you know, it's fun until the point where it's not. It's like, okay, this is, this is too much. Get me out of here. Um, it's an energetic swirl. Think of it like that. And it's one of those things where, you know, where you have bad luck after bad luck after bad luck. It's kind of like that, where it's not that. It's just you're attracting some sort of energy because you, you enter this vicious cycle of I'm spinning and I'm spinning and I'm spinning in the same thing, even though the bad luck keeps on showing up in different ways. It's still kind of the same energy. So that's where I see you at. That's it.
Moving on to Cancer. You just flew off the table. That was your card right there. It was cancer and it just kind of... Let me see if I can get it. Man, that never happened to me. The, the, the way that card flew. And it was on their side. They... And then there's the five of wands. They're, they're kind of upset here with you, cancer. What'd you do? What'd you do? You just flew off like that. Okay. Okay. Right, on your side you get the two of cups the six of wands the three of swords all right so you want this love this love makes you feel good everything's fine everything's perfect in the way that it makes you feel but right now you're hurting because of it <laughs> of course you're hurting the way they threw you off the table um so yeah something happened here that um even though this love makes you feel good for right now you're showing up as being hurt by it um on their side the chariot Flying off the table, the five of wands, the six of swords. You must have gotten into a fight or something. There's definitely this five of wands here. This, ah, I hate you. You go away. You hurt me. No, I hurt you. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. And I hate you. I hate you. Okay, bye. Um, they're in that kind of an energy. They're pissed off here. Um, I don't know who hurt who. I'm not here to take sides. There's no we're in this world where you can show me an energy like this and tell me pick sides because there's no sides to pick you're coming from your own baggage and pain they're coming from their own there is no blame there is no sides it's how you deal with it and they're dealing with it like this they're throwing you off my table here so you know it's not i i i would tell them please don't do that it's not nice but and you're dealing with it as feeling it as something painful so it's it depends. It depends how we deal with it. But it's a fight. It's definitely a fight. Probably a big one. Um, for the connection, the Ten of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the King of Cups. There is love here. There's definitely love. And there is the sense of this being done. But there's also that little bit of, well, I don't know if it is. You know, I I'm not sure. I'm feeling it as if, oh my God. But you know how it is when you have that big ass fight where it feels like, yeah, it's done for sure sometimes it's not most times it's not but it depends on what this is and it needs to be dealt with individually you need to heal your own share of what happened here or what they brought forward they definitely need to heal their share of this reaction here or whatever was brought up for them um so that this connection can heal so let's see what the universe has The Two of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Magician. Okay, someone's trying to really manifest uh, equal give and take, balance, good energies here. You know, to you know, for this energy to disappear, to not be like this of so, that anymore. But they are confused about it because if this is you and I feel like it is you, you're in your pain over this. You can't manifest from pain. You're better off starting to heal this pain that they brought in. Um, because they brought it in for you to look at because it goes, it takes you, our pain over these kinds of situations usually sends us into all sorts of directions. And we're so stuck in how we feel and how they made us feel that we don't even see where it's leading us to heal our pain that we already were carrying before this even came up, you know? So because you're in this pain, you're confused. You want to manifest good times. You, you, from this place, you won't be able to manifest this coming together. So again, my suggestion, start looking at where this pain is um, guiding you to go towards you, not towards them. There's nothing to do with them. 
they're upset okay let them be let them heal that on their own it's about you here it's about your pain so that's it that's what i have for you and that's what i have for everybody and that's what i have for you too that's what i have for you too and that's what i have for you too you got goo on your eye oh you're so sweet look at you twisting and turning like that you want to say hi to people you want to say hi and to your brother too and to your brother too mm -hmm. my great ones my great ones my gray ones. Who's gray in this house? Juno and Oscar. Yeah. Don't jump on his head. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm going to go. See you guys next time. Uh, bye.